and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Zillion Swain. That's right, playing an old favorite. Uh, we got three ranked donation decks to get to today. This is going to be the first one, Zillion Swain. Um, this is always a, a fun one to play because both of these champions are pretty fun champions. They're both, you know, like your your old guys, your you know, with <laughs> the white hair. Um, they are both damage based. Like so, Zillion's going to be making those time bombs. Time bombs dealing one damage to all of our opponent's stuff. And that's a lot of different damage to level up your Swain. And of course it does Nexus damage as well for whenever you have your level up Swain so it can stun. Plus dealing one damage to all their stuff really helps out cards like Noxian, Guillotine, and Scorched Earth. Um, so that's that's gonna be a big thing there. So finding Zillion early is really gonna be like the uh, goal of the deck. Like we really want Zillion on round two each game. So because of that, we're going to have three Ancient Preparations in here as well, where we can play, if we don't, you know, we mulligan, we don't find Zillion for round two, we can Ancient Preparations and look for it. Also got a couple of Death Lotus in here, which is, you know, kind of like a, a poor time bomb, but, you know, can kind of also do some damage to some battling units to help out your Guillotine and Scorched Earths. Um, let's see. So then, because we're playing Ancient Preparations for a body that's not an actual unit, we don't have very many real units in here. And so Xenotype Researchers is going to be in here that can really help out. And giving either Zillion or Swain plus three plus three is a big deal. So that's going to be our three drop of choice. Weighted Judgment also helps level up Swain very quickly. And that's kind of what we do. We, you know, turbo level up that, that Swain. Um, you know, use time bombs and stuff, kill damage units and then finish games out with leviathan plus swain so let's go ahead and see how it does let's play uh some games in ranked we're playing ranked tonight we had zillion swain first then after that we'll have um poppy dawn spiders and silver zigs as our other viewer submitted donation decks for the day silver action is one that's always hard to beat i i really struggle against silver action all right, we're going to keep the sentry. Again, look for Zillion, right? Like, Zillion's going to be an important one. But the sentry can go really well with Flock to take down, like, an action. Yeah, bumping up, buffing up Leviathan could be really nice. Making that thing an 811. Okay, so I think we keep Flock to go along with Sentry. The question is... Preservarium on two or wait? And, you know, save spell mana. Don't want to die. Don't Always action. Alright, definitely save spell mana. Jess! Resubbing for one year now. Thank you so much, Jess. I really appreciate that. You're a rock star. Thank you. You're covered. Man. So if they have... Tattered Banner plus Sivir. It's just kind of GG's. This hand has been... This is justice. Pretty ridiculous. Alright, Zillion. We're going to need some help. At least it's not... Um, you know, Tattered Banner plus Sivir. So at least we got that going on. Look for some time bombs. Ooh, found a time now, bomb. Then, or soon. Soldiers of me. Mm. Okay, not another time bomb, but a way to judgment or a house spider. Xenotype's not bad either. I think I'm gonna skip them. Yeah. 
Hey, and a rose getting the gifted sub from Jess. Thank you, Jess. Gifting out a sub to the channel. That's very kind. Thank you very much. Fixing the world one scoundrel at a time. Well, that's not great. Oh, you don't have to be sorry about not being here as much these days. You've been busy. That's that's all good. We're yeah, we're all busy, different times of the year, everything like that. All good. No worries at all. Thanks. Thanks for the support. Okay, so we didn't find any kind of scorch shirts or anything like that, or you know, scorch earth guillotine. Those kind of cards, they would be pretty nice. Too mad at that. I mean, so we're taking seven. But... All right, four cards in hand. Interesting reaction. I'll make a note. I'm, I'm doing the Xenotype before the Zillion. Gently, gently. <laughs> Basically, I just want time bombs and guillotine slash scorch earth. Alright, down to three. Now, this won't be damaged anymore after the pump spells. Two cards we don't know about. Cool. We'll take that. We must That's a bad sign. Okay. So I think we just stunned that. Could use the Death's Hand, but I don't really want them like to use Death's Hand and then they use like a pump spell, all that kind of stuff. I think that just using the stun gets rid of that for good. Wow, and they're willing to pass. Okay. It's not so bad. Pressuring them. A little further. Bingo. Deploying. It's pretty crazy how much that action for just a two mana champion has done in this game. Oh. I'm a woman of principle. I found the only card that ever. That, that card is it's just waiting to be found. something else. All right, well, we, found today. we gotta get rid of the spell shield at least. Oh, they have rallies. Well, we did our best. The one time that we tapped out for Leviathan. Yeah. 
Business as usual. One time I tapped out for Leviathan. Oh, come on. Alright. That was all, of course, because of the action with the their cards costing one less. They were able to spend... What? Let's see... 4, 8, 10, 12, 13, 17, um, 19, 20. Yeah, they were able to spend 20 mana worth of cards in that round. Because of everything costing one less. 20 mana is a lot of mana. Okay, I should mulligan the flock. Flock's just one of those cards that I just want to keep against a Poppy deck. But, it, you know, it, it can be really good against both these champions, Poppy and Ziggs. I, have my orders. I could see, like, not even playing the Ancient Preparations here and just saving the one spell mana for the flock and then having Zillion on two, Sentry plus flock on three. However, that being said, I think that I want Sentry flock on four for Poppy for the most part, and so playing this Ancient Preparations on 1 means it gets to block on 3. Now, then, or soon. I should make a speech. Where's my speech? It's kind of hard doing anything. They'll never see it coming. Just a moment. Guess I'm gonna save spell mana. What wondrous discoveries await below? Okay, so he's at four. Another flock's good draw. I think I should be playing the flock that they know about. Still have a good amount of mana over there. They could still like a play a poppy, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, I guess Panel City Mayor with Ziggs and Poppy is pretty nice. I'll save three life or hold on to uh, Flock. I guess we save three life. Kind of surprised just like everything wasn't attacking, or especially like that two one's not attacking. Master your demons. That's why you always carry another pair of goggles. Bleh. Change or perish. I'm not finished. Lecturing your old like is it... this card could be a champion. <laughs> really could be. It's a huge four drop. You know, it's it's basically like Thresh and Swain size, like basically. But for one mana less, plus creating all the cards. Oh man, I guess that is a problem, because now we don't make more. Yeah, now we don't.
know, make more uh, guillotines. I guess that's a problem. Blanc, blanc. I'm sorry to say, time isn't really an illusion. These fervors are good. Okay, so Swain's at 11. The problem is this 3-2, of course. But I think we I think we want to keep Swain alive. Because next round we'll have 8 mana, we'll be able to play Leviathan next round. If they don't break. Down to nine. They've already used double fervor. Oh, come on. We can't afford to draw those buff caps. We can't afford to draw those puff caps. Oh, I don't have any mana. Not really any reason not to. Yeah, I think we attack. Cool. Because, of course, we do have to pressure them. Alright, so the... The 2-1 can attack me and be able to do 1 damage to me. So we are effectively at 7 right now. All right, looks good. Looks good. I think we're going to win here. <clears throat> I guess they do have that extra card that they just drew from the Pokey Stick. We'll go ahead and Xenotype first. Zillion second. Well, that's <clears throat> that could give them a blocker, but not really a blocker for Swain. Have you two made any progress? This specimen's chromophores prevent tissue in that Game. GG's. Alright, good job, Swain. And got the win. One and one. Thank you, Ravenous Flock. Ravenous Flocks were very good in that game. GG's. Ooh, Sedgewani Gangplank. This is going to be another matchup that rewards us for playing the extra guillotine. I'm, I'm glad that we're playing two guillotines. Weight of Judgment doesn't kill things that we need to. Preservariums are pretty slow. Death's Hand also pretty slow. I think we're just sending it all back. Again, like usual, we're going to be looking for Zillion. Okay, and this is what we get. So, Scorched Earth can take out a champion. You know, like, against this deck, you got to stop the early units, and then you also have to be able to kill the champion. So, there's... There's a lot of pressure on you to have a good hand that can do multiple things. I do want to get rid of Crackshot Corsair. Of course, this is a really good quality one drop that can continually deal uh, Nexus damage that you can't stop. So that's in that card. Ooh, no two drop. That card's uh, a priority to get out of here. Oh, Concentrated Yawn, we just played against you. Good games. GG's. Man, kind of want to Scorched Earth this Monkey Idol. I don't want those cards. Okay. So we'll just pass. Got them to waste some mana. Have you two made any progress? This specimen's chromophores prevent tissue denaturation. And they really haven't had much of a hand. They've only played just Monkey Idol. Oh, they played the one drop. Like Crackshot Corsair Monkey Idol. Well, I love seeing that. Yeah, that's that's just great for me. I'll take that all day. 
I'll take that all day. Because that warning shot's just kind of wasted here. Because they were already doing one to my Nexus. So that's that's great. You know, having Zillion trade with two cards. You own what you take. I guess we'll stun Sejuani. We can let Sejuani attack in Death Lotus. That obviously kills my Xenotype and does a good amount of damage to me, though. So we'll just stun and time bomb. Don't touch that. Save two life. Yeah, that's fine. I don't mind the Xenotype dying now that it's going to be... Oh, it's only vulnerable this round. It's not vulnerable until the end of time. Cool. Again, they've already dealt Nexus damage to me. They're using all these things that can do Nexus damage to me. When they already have. I'm happy with that. Five is not very much. Alright, so we have ten mana. We're using three on Scorched Earth. So that means we have seven other mana. So Preparations plus Time Bomb does not let me also Swain. So we could Time Bomb and Swain. Or Preparations and Swain. Let's go in preparations. What we got? Another Swain for Ravenous Flock? Doesn't sound too bad. I think maybe we'll take a Ravenous Flock. Ravenous Flock's usually pretty good. I was yeah, I don't really want them to play another Sejuani this round. Okay, so they can't play another Sejuani this round. They could play Gangplank, but it's just how life is. Okay, so that thing can block Swain. But I think we make it block Swain. Let's take that trade. Yeah. And for how easily they used that harpoon earlier, we could we could guess that they had another harpoon. But still I'm I'm okay with all of that. Oh, they stole a preservarium. That's a great one to, to nab. Just, you know, getting more cards. That was a good nab. Safety will cost Why why even use that warning shot? I don't know what the point of that warning shot was. So, I think that's game. I think we won this. Because they're at 6. We have 3 damage with this Leviathan. We can play a new Leviathan. If it does another 3 damage. And that'll be 6 soul damage. So, I think we're good. Oh, no! I didn't account for 0 mana Ravenous Flock. Why didn't I account for that? Yeah, why, why didn't I play around zero mana Ravenous Flock? What am I doing? Explosives. But I'll, I don't know if there's any way for us to play around that anyway. GG's, I guess. GG's. Okay, a Lux deck. Lux deck, do we? So we're gonna send the House Spider back. I think I'd rather just Preservarium onto 
against the Lux deck. Like, I don't think we need House Spider. Because I'm... Yeah, not sure exactly what they're going to be doing here, but I, I'd kind of imagine them just going, like, Remembrance on three. And then kind of just, like, blinking the, the whole point of the House Spider. Um, even though... I guess it would enable cards like Guillotine and Flock having that House Spider, but... I think this should work just fine. Interesting reaction. I'll make a note. Okay, so we already have a lot of our units out of our deck as far as Xenotype researchers go. There's only 18 total in the deck. One, two, three, four, five. We've already drawn five. So there's only 13 in the deck. So three of those 13 have plus three, plus three. Soldiers, three. Hmm. They, they do not get this ability here. So they just turned their 3-4 into a 3-1. You only get the... They get the one enters the battlefield effect. Or summoned effect, I guess it's called. So they get the one for Demacia. I recall my training. Um, sure. Okay, so this house spider... Or, sorry, uh, the Arachnoid Sentry doesn't have the plus three, plus three. So now, three out of 12 units. There's only 12 units left in the deck. All right, three out of 11 units. Only 11 units left in the deck. Fear the power to do not see. The sun is shining. We should, too. Okay, only nine. How are we drawing so many units to begin with? But yeah, only nine more units left in the deck. Have you two made any progress? This specimen's chromophores prevent tissue denaturation. Okay, so this grant me plus one plus one challenger, that will happen to this next thing that they create. So whatever they're turning that into, it's gonna have the plus one plus one challenger also. Magic from that's the, the best hit they could have. Yeah, that's one of the best hits. Contain the threat. Who's the threat here? Okay, so I'm getting four damage on Lux. Remember, we have the time bomb on, on top, so I can get the extra one point of damage in. And now we can kind of decide what to do here. I could Death Sand this 3 2 Challenger. We could just flock the 5 4. I'm kind of thinking flock the 5 4. And just not worry about it anymore. Yeah, we'll just keep Death's hand. Okay, so Swain's at eight. It's a good card. Alright, so that's just two mana. And that thing dies to the time bomb. Huh. Alright, well, I will pass as well. I think that's all acceptable. Okay, so again, they're going to choose something else. It will have the Life Steal and Tough. The new card's going to have Life Steal and Tough. Justice will be served. Prepare the cargo. There is no excess when victory is at stake. Hmm. We can take four just fine.
enemy? Yeah, they got me. Why can't I do this to any unit? <laughs> Why can't I do... Why can't I death hand my own thing? I can't. Yeah, they got me. So yeah, that Swain wasn't... That was just another unit that didn't have that plus three, plus three. We... But... Yeah, we just don't have any units that have the that plus three, plus three from the Xenotype, which is weird. Man, that one doesn't? That House Spider didn't? We've seen almost every single unit in our deck that... <laughs> besides the three that have the plus three, plus three. No Alright, so now they get to mentor the stones. <laughs> My xenotype is bugged. Maybe. That's possible. So I turn that into a 10 10 regen. That's fine with me. Hey, we got a plus three, plus three. Yeah. We got a plus three, plus three. They could have, uh, you know, Rangers resolve and mess that up. But... No. Okay, that will do. Two and two. Time is a teacher to us all. Dubs flock. Ooh, got the zillion mirror, zillion echo. We can see who's going to out zillion the other person. They are going to have more predicts. Yes, let's get those zillions in here. Is Scorched Earth any good? We can get rid of this card. Scorched Earth any good here? I don't know. I'll send it back. Okay, so the real question is Ancient Preparations on one or wait. I may want to wait until we get, you know, the eight time bombs in the deck and then Ancient Preparations looking for time bombs. Or after we Xenotype. I kind of want to wait, because usually playing this on one... you like, I don't think we need the 2-2 two -two body right away or anything. Time bomb. No time bomb. Time is like a watch. I don't want to eat whatever woke you Dude, nobody gets more round two hexite crystals than my opponents. <laughs> it's every game it's round two hexite crystal. Okay. So I forgot I don't e ever beat Zillion Echo. I forgot about that. That's new. You're provoking it. Good afternoon, Tali Zoo. No Don't touch that. Don't touch it. All right, big Swain. Focus using multiple lenses. 
Clever. I just Clever. improvised on these instructions you drafted. Born a patrician, I became a soldier. Okay, so not using Hexite Crystal yet. Still saving that one. Hopefully this works. Hopefully no Ancient Hourglass. Alright, cool. <laughs> oh man, my opponents are so much better at this game than I am. They're so much better. Yeah, they just already hit three time bombs. I got that Hexite Crystal immediately. Uh, we haven't seen a time bomb yet, of course. We are not good at this game. Another me? Where are you going? You know I've forgotten. Couldn't have been that important. What does it mean? Their fourth time bomb? So there's only two two time bombs left in their deck, I guess. <laughs> How is it even possible to draw five time bombs already? How's that even possible? It's my it's not really my luck, it's my opponent's luck. So round two, they had the Hexite Crystal. Now they've gotten five time bombs already. And either their you know, obviously either their second or maybe even their third Preservarium, I don't remember. I don't think it's really even worth playing the House Spider. <laughs> yeah, when I enter attorney I have to use my ban on any Zillion decks? Yeah, I guess so. Cause I think this is like the third straight opponent that's had round two Hexite Crystal. against me. But yeah, five time bombs already. That's crazy. Okay, so that's their third plus three plus three unit as well. Second crystal. Yeah, so now we can stun, like if they have an echo, we can stun the echo. Okay, so that's wait, how many time bombs? Okay, so that's the sixth time bomb, so I guess there's two more that they could have. There's sixth one. Alright, that's the third zillion. Have you two made any progress? This specimen's chromophores prevent tissue denaturation. 
The big problem, of course, being our Nexus, right? Like, we're only at 8. Like, this is 4, four damage right there. That's 5 damage right there. That's the big problem here, is the... It's our Nexus. Is a tactician's greatest tool. I just can't take any damage. Merely pawns in a greater game. Force them to use their Hexite Crystals, probably. Unless they want to take it. Okay, I guess they're going to take it. I will Doesn't get rid of any of those abilities, just gets rid of the Fearsome keyword. That didn't, that didn't matter. Okay, that's Time Bomb number seven. For them. Can I take Leviathan next round? Yeah. Because we're also going to be drawing another card. We're drawing two cards. So we'll probably take, like, one so. Leviathan. I hate how I can't play House Spider. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. When I need to. Like, I need to be able to play House Spider, but I can't. <laughs> Dark Fortress says, I don't think I've ever predicted a Hexite Crystal once out of the countless times I've played at games that plays. The cat. Every one of my opponents gets round two Hexite Crystal. Oh, wow. Okay. That's not so bad. They didn't Hexite Crystal me. That's pretty cool. Oh, well, that's game. Obviously, this Mystic Shot double crystal. So, that's how it goes. And they even got buffed to Echo. If it ain't my favorite time traveling genius, so they even got. Either four or five of their buffed cards. I think five of their buffed cards. Focus. Know your place. Man, if only we had Riot Negation. Especially how they're doing like the GGs. Like, what if we had Riot Negation right here? So they just sold seven seven damage to me with um, with time bombs and four damage with hexite crystals, two with a mystic shot. That's fifteen damage right there. That's how it's been the the last few times I played against a zillion deck. But oh well. Um, so you know our our deck was fine. <laughs> you know it's just I wish there was better. Like this deck could really use like some avalanches type stuff or like if you could just guarantee they're getting time bombs more, you know, like the deck looks so much better whenever you have your time bombs that enable your guillotine and scorch earth and draw lots of cards. Basically exactly what our opponent was doing, you know, like that's our opponent did what we're trying to do, but just so much better. Um, but they just got, you know, like they were playing the same cards with Zillion and, and re Xenotype researchers and they just drew seven time bombs and either four or five cards that hit the Xenotype researchers hit with the plus three plus threes. That's how life goes. All right, anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments about Zillion Swain. Let me know what you think of the deck. Um, you know, it's it's tough playing Swain in a dragon world, but if you just face like your poppy decks, you can do pretty good. I think Swain can match up well against those style of decks. But um, 
no nexus healing against other time bomb decks can be kind of rough. All right, but that's going to be it for Zillion Swain. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you for the next video.